Welcome, Internets, to the Penny Cane! Alright, so what do we have on today's list? Well, it is a story about my uncle versus veteran combat. Which one of these games is going to be great? Which one of them is going to suck? Will they both suck? Alright, let's find out and let's dig right in. So Veteran Combat is a fighting game. Yeah! And the thing about Veteran Combat is, is this one was fairly cheap. Now, the premise is, is that a whole bunch of people are fighting for some reason. Maybe a trophy, or maybe it's a cup with pencils in it. Yeah. Honestly, honestly, it wasn't very clear. But, so you've got a whole bunch of characters. They get together, they fight, and that's the, that's the major premise. What stands out about this game is its presentation, because what you're seeing here is actually all that, all that like classic. It, it reminds me of the early '90s when everyone was trying to do live action um, after Pit Fighter, after Mortal Kombat, which, by the way, same team. And it seems to me like they're trying to capture that and make it like, look, guys, look at this awesome blast from the past. But what you're getting here is a game that utterly fails. Fails. And why is this game failing? Where is it failing? Well, the problem I had with it was that when you're playing, number one, you have to use the keyboard. So I ended up getting a uh, control application uh, in order to play this game with the controller. Fighting games suck. This is not the 90s, kids. We don't use keyboards for fighting games anymore. No! We use controllers like civilized humans, not the primitive cavemen doing <laughs> spear, <laughs> keyboard, <laughs> you know, no, no, that's not the way you do a fighting game, okay, that's not the way it works. So in, in a modern civilized era, you know, you'd expect the keyboard mapping. So yes, it's a huge complaint of mine, but the next complaint is the fighting itself because you look at the instructions, you have no clue what's really going on. I mean, yes, you've got like a high and a low uh, for your punch and kick, but the what really is the difference? What, what is there really a point to using either of them? And it seems like it seems like for a player, you have to beat the computer using the basic set of moves. Remember old school Street Fighter? We're talking Street Fighter One, kids, and in Street Fighter One. Everyone just assumed that, oh, hey, somebody threw a whole gun. That's just an accident. No, this game is much like that, that there are supposed to be special moves. The computer frequently uses them against you, and you have no clue what's going on. In fact, the instructions that come in the game to try and tell you what's going on do not explain anything, even training mode. Training mode, which is supposed to teach you how to play the game. Even training mode fails to tell you what's going on. So, with the game that's the best it's got is story mode and versus. That's it. It is lackluster. It is crap. I am giving this one a thumbs down. This is getting a serious thumbs down. This game just... Oh my gosh, no! It... it failed on so many levels to even be playable for the most part. I mean, when, when your game is not playable, there's a problem there. The three-on-three -three combat, yeah, well, it's not three-on-three -three combat, it's you select three characters and you go at it, but overall it's just like, guys, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? Why is this even a thing? Who decided to put this game out? You know, the indie developers behind this, you know, I'm sorry, I know indie developers work hard at their games, but you either learn from your mistakes or you're bound to repeat them. In this case, this was a mistake, and I hope this developer actually put something else better out, you know. Good luck, guys. Good luck. So let's move on to a story about my uncle. No, I'm not going to tell you about my uncle. No, 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 no. Fred, Steve, Frank, Nick... You know, or hey, you know, what, whatever your uncle's name is, you know, I, this is a this is about a kid who actually it's a grown man who's telling his daughter a story 
a story about when he went to find his uncle. So it's not really about his uncle directly, but it's about him going to find his uncle. And this has an interesting, interesting play mechanism to it. Okay, we'll get to that in a second here. Um, but the story itself, it really breaks, it really crumbles as the game is going along because it starts out, he's telling his daughter a story. Really cool. Um, but then you end up in these convoluted, you're tracing, you're finding societies and whatnot that your uncle influenced. And I'm kind of like, okay. But then you look at the story versus the area that you're in, and you're like, how did your uncle really traverse all this? You know, yes, you're doing it with power suit and everything, but how do you really traverse all this? Okay? So it didn't make 100% sense to me. And it's just like, is this uncle really such a great guy that all these other indigenous species are like, oh no, your uncle was magnificent. Oh, we can't help it. We wish he was still here. I I, I really don't know. It's It seems strange to me, but ah, whatever. The gameplay is actually the draw to this game, though. Because you, you get a laser tether, you get some jump boots, you get rockets. You can like do a little bit of dash and everything. And it's really cool because this is first-person platforming. It's not quite like Mirror's Edge, which Mirror's Edge really is the one to measure up to. This one is first-person platforming, has you trying to tether to items, swing, use a lot of momentum. So it really is momentum. It feels a little bit more like Portal in some ways. But so you're trying to, you're trying to make sure that you've got the momentum to swing, jump, um, float, whatever it is you have to do to get to the next area. And everything, everything in this game is looking to knock you off, make you fall to the ground. It's, it's not easy. The whole game is trying to stay up in the air. It's not, not easy, kids. It is hard. It was fun. It was fun to a point because you get to a place where it's like, all right, I've been playing this game for a while, but all you've thrown at me, there's no combat, no mixing it up. Um, Portal, here's the thing, Portal itself, Portal managed to feel different as you were going through different tests, different different trials, as GLaDOS was really screwing with you. Portal managed to keep it fresh. Meanwhile, in a story about my uncle, it feels so repetitive, even though the backgrounds are changing, it feels like you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over. Oh, it's the theory of the Mobius. Gosh, I did not, I'm not going to give this game a thumbs down. I'm not going to give it a thumbs down because it was good. It was good. It was fun for a while. I mean, I if this is one of the few games you own, I could see a person going back to it. But if you own many games or if you even own Portal, I can't see you going back to this too often. The game itself is getting indifference. Indifference, guys. Indifference powers. Um, it's so-so. It's not great. It's not It's not horrible. It just is. So, indifference for the win! So, in the battle between my uncle and a bunch of veteran combats, I'm taking my uncle over this. So, this version of Pennycade, we put our quarters into... Story about my uncle. Hey, like what you see here, I always buy the games. And, remember... Like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out our links below. That support link, by the way, that's the one I really like because, you know, you make your purchases from Amazon, helps us out quite a bit. Thanks for the Pennycade, and we will catch you next time.